This week I'm living out my best childhood fantasy. I'm feeling like a pink Power Ranger, honey. I always wanted to be the pink Power Ranger. Let's just get into these readings, honey. Hey girl. <laughs> my pink Power Ranger powers are just too much for this singing ball. <laughs> Hello my beautiful Taurus, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading this week, Taurus. Um, so if you do find some cards that resonate with you throughout this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do, Taurus, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. Um, and also if you do find some cards that resonate with you, Taurus, I'd really appreciate it if you were to take that extra step to give this uh, tarot reading channel a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot when you do that, Taurus. And I always am super appreciative when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way. Um, and also, Taurus, before we get into this reading, I just want to say that I don't believe that any type of tarot reading, any tarot cards should be making decisions in your life, right? I believe tarot cards, tarot reading should be here, Taurus, to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your life, but never making the decision for you because it's your life to live and not mine, not these cards, nobody's, right? So wouldn't it be fair for me, wouldn't it be fair for anyone to tell you what to do with your life because you have to be the one that lives with those consequences, so... With all that in mind, Taurus, let's just jump into your weekly general tarot reading this week. So we have your objective card this week of the energy that you want to um, try to go towards, try to uh, grasp at, the energy that you want to exude as you go throughout this week. And it's the Ace of Cups, right? So this is a beautiful card to have as your objective card because this is almost like the sense of being willing, Taurus, to just opening yourself up more. Um, I keep on just hearing the word release, Taurus, is something that I keep on hearing. So maybe it, there's like this sense of uh, needing to release your guard uh, on some things, Taurus, needing to uh, open yourself up emotionally, be a little bit more vulnerable this week, wear your heart out on your sleeve a little bit more, right? And I know when I say that, Taurus, a lot of some, there might be some people that will respond with and be like, okay, Velka, like, I don't want to, I don't know about wearing my heart on my sleeve or anything like that. And I just, you know, I feel like it's important for people to be willing to, because if you remain so cynical about things, right? Cynical is one of my favorite words, <laughs> apparently, within the past few months, Taurus, because it's like, I... It makes me sad when I see people be cynical because it's like you're kind of in, in a way making the choice to block off energy, to block off opportunities, to block off blessings coming into your life, right? Because it's like if you just have the cynical view, that's when our thoughts are energy towards at least that's what I what that's what I believe. And so our thoughts being energy, we're constantly manifesting, whether it's good things, high vibrational things, or whether it's lower vibrational things and just not in pleasant things, that it is, that's what it is that uh, we are creating. And so if we have the cynical nature, you, I kind of want you to think about it, where it's just like, if energy is just like in, in levels, having the cynical nature is doing nothing but having you radiate like this lower vibrational energy. You're kind of like setting yourself up to fail, right? For some of you Tauruses, maybe you have like this habit of being like, uh, before you even start on a project, you're just like, you know what? I don't even feel like putting energy into it because you just, you feel, you convince yourself that it wouldn't work out if you were to put energy, if you were to try to do that in the first place. So Taurus, I do get this sense that you need to just open up more, right? And you kind of have to read in between the lines as well, Taurus. When spirit asks you to open up, you kind of... I can read in between the lines being like, okay, well, spirit's not going to just tell you to do that for in willy nilly. There's a reasoning to it. So definitely this week, look for opportunity coming your way, right? And that opportunity may be coming in from a person coming in to your life to offer you something or someone from your past, right? opportunity can come in like don't feel like you kind of don't feel towards that you know how things are going to be is something that i just want to tell you it's just like don't feel like you know the story don't feel like you know the narrative open yourself up and be willing to just experience life a little bit be willing to even if you have some bumps on the road be willing to experience those, experience those bumps in the road without getting down the dumps about it and then you know spiraling into the cynical nature right so we have the queen of fire coming in as the centerfold of this energy. I'll read off the card, Taurus. This says, stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself and assert your independence and creativity. Now, Taurus, when you have this card coming in here, this is a dynamic of where it's 
truly, again, like with the Queen of Fire, she's the one that starts those projects, right? Or she's all about those projects, right? She's all about going into those passion projects. She's extremely ambitious, uh, going after whatever it is that she wants to do, whatever sounds good. She doesn't think about how it may look to other people. She doesn't think about, um, what happens if things go wrong? She doesn't think about the what ifs, what ifs. They don't think about that at all. The Queen of Fire is all just about entertaining that flame, entertaining that spark that you feel inside and just nurturing that without any type of insecurity. Um, so definitely, especially with the Six of Pentacles, Two of Swords and this Page of Swords as well. Taurus, this is such an, I mean, with this two of swords right here, this is the guarded energy. I feel like, dare I say, a lot of you Tauruses would probably relate to this if you'd be willing to be honest with yourself in that this is how probably you're coming off as, where it's just like, you're presented in a fork in the road and there's just like matters of the mind, right? You can like make this decision that seems more logical to you, right? That seems like it would be maybe less risk involved, right? Maybe staying at like, for example, just give an example of this energy, what it would be similar to. It would be like, um, you know, some of you guys are just like, oh, I could stay at this nine to five over here, right? May not enjoy the job. It may just be draining me every single day. Like I don't look forward to waking up, whatever, Taurus, but it pays the bills, right? And it gives you that consistent paycheck, Taurus. And maybe that's one side of things. But then on the other side of things, Taurus, then you have to, and that seems to be the side that you kind of feed more energy into usually, where it's just like the logical side. And then you, in that logical side, if you have a cynical nature, then logically, <laughs> like you can always just kind of set yourself up towards so where it's just like you never entertain like the, the passionate side and that's where this other side is towards this is the side of where it's just like you know it doesn't give you don't you don't know how this is going to turn out right you don't see you can't see how this path will go uh five di five days down the road right if you were to entertain this other side but you know there's something there you know there's like this spark inside of you that you're just like oh i kind of want to dabble into this but then it's almost like right before you take that first step towards this other path right towards this path that's when you just start getting in your head right page of swords is letting me know just like almost like this resistance towards opening up to new things, going into the new territory, right? Your mind seems to be definitely like the, uh, the blockage for you guys this week, Taurus. It does seem to be where it's just like, once you start taking those steps and being like, oh, this sounds, this starts to feel good, but then you're just like, oh, it's going to fail. Like, what if I get down the road like a week later and then I end up tripping and falling and then breaking my ankle, right? Those like situations where you just convince yourself of like such negative narratives that you don't even want to go down it anymore. But then again, there's something that stirs in you and you're just like, ah. Oh. So then rather than even making a choice, Taurus, you kind of just sit there and stand there guarded right and it's kind of just like ah la 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 you're pretending there's not a problem going on here right you're pretending as if if you don't change anything in your life it'll just kind of like things will just kind of like work itself out right things will just kind of just show themselves to you um without you having to make a choice but the thing is Taurus, you are kind of needing to make that choice there's uh spirits not going like i'm getting this sense here where it's just like ace of cups being as like your center energy I'm just getting that it's just like you, even if things were to present themselves to you Taurus because you're so guarded you're never going to even see it right and that's why you need to open yourself up more that's why you need to consider the possibilities more yeah you can feed this logical side you can feed this nine to five side where it's just like okay yeah obviously it pays the bill da, 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 da. and I'm not telling you what to do Taurus obviously but keep that same energy keep that same um just as like just as how you can find a bunch of uh uh bullet points for why you should do this to keep that same energy for this other side as well you know allow the queen of fire to help you find the positives if you were to go dabble into this new side right don't just talk yourself out of um this new path before like it's yeah it's just almost like you're losing the battle like you're you feel like you failed the project before the project's even started Taurus and that's what needs to be coming into balance for you Taurus with the six of pentacles this is what needs to be um that needs to be like what it is that you're putting most of your attention to is where it's just like holding yourself accountable Taurus and being like ah catching yourself when you start getting a little bit too cynical 
I guess is what I'll try to say, Taurus. So now with all those cards, with all the, that heaviness, right? Now let's start getting into the blessings coming to you this week. What blessings are in the works for my Taurus this week, right? Now I'm not going to sit here and promise Taurus that week, like, we can talk about these good things happening, uh, but it, you know, this is just an energetic side to us. We can't, obviously, like, you may not be getting the instant result of things, but, you know, energy's in the works, right? You can start seeing what, um, you know, I like to see this as, like, the, uh, what it is you have to look forward to in the coming days rather than having it be all like on wednesday honey you're going to be experiencing this blessing by this time i don't that's not me so the three cards we start out with taurus is the queen of cups the lover's card and the queen of swords so now i'm going to entertain on the slight uh on the side note as a side note for my tauruses that are interested in love and resonate with this in terms of a person um because i have to right with the lover's card in here being the middle energy um it does seem to be taurus where it's just like on uh, i feel like this is you i feel like if this is in terms of a relationship or like a connection with somebody taurus this queen of cups is you you trying to um again this almost like this focus taurus you've been having this focus of opening up more it's almost like you acknowledge that you kind of needed to uh be willing to be a little bit more soft and fuzzy be a little bit more vulnerable with someone and just people in your life in general and the king of swords comes in of where it's like uh speaks to someone a little bit more reserved right someone that like i mean almost seems like a dynamic towards where it's just like you're wanting to explore your emotions more because it's like you're not getting some type of emotional fulfillment out of this king of swords in like the natural way not saying that you're not getting along and there's like not some type of depth in this connection towards but like it does seem to like I don't know. That's like a side note. Maybe I'll just, I'll cut that out probably. Um, but yeah, and this that type of dynamic here, Taurus, I just really enjoy this just because person and relationships and all that aside, for this to be like the blessings coming in, this is all shaped around the lovers being like the decision, right? Um, because that is what the lovers also represents other than it being like the little thing that you can see in the card and the name of it. But it does talk about an important decision coming in for you. So let's see if we can get any more refinement on this though. Emperor card, the just, wow, justice card and the empress card. So it does seem to be, Taurus, it does seem to be like, the blessings coming in and i know this might sound like cheesy i know some of you tauruses might be wanting to hear about something about your financial matters or something but bear with me here Taurus, because i feel like you'll like this message as well um with this dynamic this is letting me know of like uh this week Taurus, you're really discovering a lot about yourself you're really getting you're tapping more in tune with your higher self what does that mean for those that aren't even aware of this essentially Taurus, it's you're just learning more about who you are and starting to tap into getting more comfortable with um the unfiltered version of yourself with that with the, the version of yourself that isn't um hiding behind mask of how um hi yeah essentially just hiding behind masks and feeling insecure about certain aspects of yourself you're just becoming more comfortable with yourself um taurus i do get though there's this calling for you to be more proactive um Taurus and uh, <laughs> I, I I can't help but like go back to this reference where it does like it does seem to be speaking on like another person like this does seem to be honing in on like another person's energy Taurus and I was trying to avoid it obviously but with the justice card being in the middle energy with the lover's card something coming into balance on your side clean of cups being with the emperor card now this is like such a dynamic Taurus of where it's just like you are starting to be more proactive and like opening your heart up, opening your emotions up, being a little bit more vulnerable um, and taking actual like action towards this. Whereas like the King of Swords, this other person being complimented by the Empress card, such counterpart energy here. This person is having to learn about how to um, open themselves up more, how to communicate. You know, it's almost just like trying to... Uh, <sighs> this doesn't even have to be about a, like an actual like relation romantic relationship Taurus, but it does seem to be like two different people who uh have two extremely different love languages trying to come together trying to bring a certain balance to this with, with this justice card and the lovers card it's almost like both of you guys are making the conscious decision to uh really figure each other out learn more about each other and try to um 
you know, maybe Taurus, you're more about like the, uh, you have a love language where it's all about um, saying like the actual I love yous and all that, right? And being like, oh, I really care about you, right? You're my best friend, like whatever. You need those kind of affirmations. Whereas this person, other person, they don't usually like to express it usually. Maybe they're more about like the action and being like actual actions of things, being like, well, their way of expressing their love to you is by going out and buy, buying you like a Snickers bar and stuff like that. But it does seem to be, I do see this uh, like, not only are you guys learning about each other and like not taking things personally anymore by realizing that you guys have different love languages, you're, you both are almost like identifying what it is that you needed to work on with yourself. And both you guys are now coming at this place almost like as a team. Whereas before it doesn't seem like you guys were working out, working together as a team or functioning together as a team. So I really like that. I like that. Um, very interesting message for that to be like the blessings coming towards you <laughs> Taurus. very interesting in that indeed but i mentioned financial matters so let's actually just uh pull a couple cards for that as well let's see what's going on for my taurus's financial matters let's see ace of pentacles temperance card and then the king of wands so <laughs> taurus you're not going to be happy with this message if you are like searching for like something in the now again i keep on setting things like oh you're not gonna be happy um wait it out i mean i'm getting this sense for my taurus is waiting to hear about something in regards to their financial matters it's like you're not, you know you know it's like you put in your application somewhere and you're just hoping that you um, get that call back. You're hoping for this raise. Um, Ace of Pentacles is letting me know that you have, there's some type of cornucopia heading your way. I like to see the Ace of Pentacles as like the universe spirit handing to you, um, some type of blessing, some type of opportunity. Um, but, you are going to have to be patient with this, Taurus. With this temperance card coming in here, you have to make sure that you do not allow yourself to spiral too much, right? If you are stressing over financial matters and be like, oh, I'm going to pay these bills, right? Uh, you may feel like, you may like spiral so much that you end up self-sabotaging at, self-sabotaging in some type of way with this king of wands where it's just like, I don't know. I feel like you kind of have to just like keep... The word I keep on hearing, or not words, rather, Taurus, is just, like, stay the course. It's something I'm just hearing, just stay the course with something, you know? It's just, like, I don't know if you guys, like, took a gamble with something, or it's just, like, because you're not getting, like, an instant payout with something that you're just, like, ooh, is this, is it, did I make the right choice with something? You absolutely, you really did, Taurus. You just have to be willing to wait it out just a little bit longer, is something that I'm just hearing. So, um, yeah. Um, now... Taurus, I do want to just pull some final thoughts, final cards before we close out this reading for y'all. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what final thoughts we have, what final messages Spirit has for you this week, Taurus. Let's see. And I can, well, are we, I guess we're taking these cards. So, Taurus, you got the Sun card. Hello. Best card in the deck. We have the Six of Wands, Victory card, Queen of Swords, Eight of Swords. You're going to be getting out of your head soon, Taurus. There is something that you are waiting for a payout on. Something that you, Taurus, you feel like you're trapped in some type of situation and you feel like you're out, you're feeling powerless, I feel. Taurus, it feels like you feel powerless because it's like you're waiting for something to pan out. You're waiting for the result of something before you can continue the next part of your life almost, Taurus. There's, yeah, there does seem to be like you're waiting, you're just have, doing this waiting game and it feels like, uh, for some of you, Taurus, is you just can't go continue. You're just waiting for something to pan out so before you continue on with your life in some way. And I do see things uh, coming in for you in a positive way, Taurus. Six of Wands, Victory Card, Sun. The Sun is like having your cake and eating it too. Like really like the ultimate manifestation card. Um, so whatever it is that you're waiting on, whatever it is that you're waiting to hear back on the results or something or waiting to hear back on this person some it would be something that it's been taking up a lot of your mental power like it's like something that you think about on the constant even you probably would even to some of you tourists probably have like searched like specific tarot readings on youtube trying to find like that covers like this specific topic and being like I don't even want to give like an example because I feel like it could just be with like anything. It could be about like a relationship and being like, oh, what is this person going to finally reach out or what have you, right? 
Um, so yeah, Taurus, just, I hope this helps. I hope this reading helped in some type of way and relieved a little bit of anxiety, hopefully. Um, if you did enjoy this reading, Taurus, be sure to let me know in the comments below which card called out to you the most. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Taurus. And then, Taurus, be sure to share this video or any of my tarot reading videos with a friend that you think might be into my readings. But until next time, Taurus, I love you so much. Bye.